Hey guys, I'm back again with a new concept video. This week we're going to be checking out, um, I've nicknamed the Bulldozer or the Conveyor Belt, whichever, whichever you want to call it here. Um, crikey, so guys, this will probably not, uh, this won't, won't be the only concept video I have. I've got a few other things to show off, so I'll be leaving a link in the description um, to a playlist. So when I release these concept videos, especially if you like them, you can go check the playlist and see if I've added any new con concept videos to that playlist so anyway anyway don't forget if you're enjoying the content to leave a like and comment below would be much appreciated all righty so let's get into this 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 concept here so this concept uh, what I was trying to do is push push mobs with other mobs um, in a minecart so that's pretty much the basic basis of this the problem is with when you're pushing a mob with a minecart uh, with with another mob in a minecart Obviously, they glitch through and everything else, and I had to come up with with a way to not with with to prevent that happening. So, just say um, this was a dark room. I've obviously built this out of glass because it's you know it's a, it's a test. Um, so, I built this out of glass, obviously. So, so this this pad here was a dark room, and mobs were spawning on there. And we had a minecart run down the center of it with a giant with a slime, the largest slime in the minecart, right? It, and the, what will actually happen is, A, the minecart's obviously going to hit a mob and turn around, because we all know that's what happens with freaking minecarts and mobs on, on tracks, or, B, that the, the actual large slime slash minecart will glitch right through them and not push them at all, um, or, or pu try to push them off the edge, which that will glitch them sort of through, so it doesn't really work well. So that's why I've nicknamed this the bulldozer or the conveyor belt, because this design here will actually push a lot of mobs without glitching, it's a little slow, that's why it's, you know, aka the, the, the conveyor belt as well, but still, she still does the job. Alright, so let me explain what's happening here. Okay, so we've got a large slime down here in a minecart. His name is Bob. I like to play with Bob. I've got a, a whole bloody farm based on this in my survival. Um, the, the Minecraft down under the season one. Um, I built a whole farm off the, 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 the large slimes, literally, it's pretty cool. Um, but, anyway, so what's actually happening is here, he's in a minecart. When he travels around, goes up here, he'll end up in this water stream. And that water stream will actually push the minecart down uh, through the water stream. And what's actually going to happen is half of Bob's head will be actually glitched through the platform here, allowing him to push stuff. But, the difference is, this is elevated, because, as you can see, I've got fences here and as you know fences have sort of got this invisible half block thing going on top yeah so the minecart that was is actually riding on the stream rides a lot higher um in the water so that means bob's head is a lot higher allowing us allowing me to actually have this half slab on the top block here which allows mobs to actually spawn if you were to say make a mob farm out of this it would be a little bit slow but to make it just say you wanted to make a mob farm so having it this high they would actually it's a valid spawning spot so anyway let's give it a quick quick run through let him out he can do trips and he's just gonna see what i mean he's a little bit slow but anything in his wake will be pushed down the tube which is fantastic, and which I'll prove that now. So, Bob, you do your loop. I'm going to flood this platform, absolutely max it out, with, with just say, if somehow, magically, you manage to max this dark room out with mobs out the bloody Yazoo. Well, guess what? There you go. Maxed out. All right, bulldozer, let's do this. <laughs> now, if you were to do this with a... With a uh, track or anything, the mobs would actually glitch through. Look at that. He is just bulldozing it all off. There you go. Check that out. So, is a conveyor belt or the bulldozer? Whatever you want to call it. You can. We can literally go nuts here if we want. Oh my god. Creepers out the yards. <laughs> They're going to explode soon as soon as Bob hits it there. Crikey. So... Whoa, that glitched right, 
right out the back because they're all sort of into in each other. But as you can see, it works really, really, really well. Um, so Bob is traveling very slowly on the water stream in a minecart, which is unfortunate. If he was a lot quicker, this would be definitely a viable mob farm idea. Build multiple platforms, uh, multiple, just multiple of dark rooms with, with, with few of these Bob's going through, like cleaning off the plates. But uh, as I said, unfortunately, it might be a little bit slow. I don't know. This could also be the conveyor belt. You're trying to move mobs from, from A to B, and this would be how you would do it, sort of thing, without water canals. Um, like, or bigger, a lot of room. But she will not fail you, which is fantastic. So, as I said, this is just a concept idea. Like, I don't know what you would apply this to. Uh, many things, like in my 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 circumstance right now, I'm building a guardian farm. Maybe I want to move the guardians, but they jump, don't they? So maybe that's not such a good idea. Or you're trying to, to build a, a mob farm, a unique mob farm. Uh, this would obviously be another way to go to do it. <laughs> Using large slimes to push off uh, big platforms of room without glitching through is fantastic. So yeah, this is just a base ID. If you want to take this and use it and and build something greater with it, that'd be fantastic. This is just a concept video. That that's all this is. Uh, I'd love to see if anyone comes up with any other ideas. I might go into a test world myself and see if I can build like a because uh, this is connectable. Like Bob is only going down a seven uh, seven water canal right now. Right now, you can actually connect it to multiple water canals using the old pressure plate sign or not pressure plate the slab trick and it should work just bloody fine so you could extend this quite you know indefinitely sort of thing which is obviously fan bloody tastic now that unfortunately doesn't work for items so if we just spawn ourselves some just glass here and oh crikey spawn ourselves some bedrock any any sort of items he will not push unfortunately i think that would be quite cool if it was pushing items but yeah, no, it doesn't work for items. Just works for for what's we call it. But yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of you guys, especially if you got experience with rail tracks and mobs here, you'll know for a fact that mobs don't go really well when pushing each other off or really quickly anyway. Especially with the smaller mobs, larger mobs, it might work properly. But hey, this was just a concept idea. I don't know. See what you guys can come with come come up with. Especially if you are planning to use this. I do use a um. At the end, at the the eighth block here, I use an open gate, obviously, to glitch him through to reset him. Um, you could probably take him right off the edge, but then that would sort of interfere with with the drop shoot here. But as you can see, works bloody brilliantly. Doesn't get really affected by it. Just pushes any mob off the platform. Bloody brilliant because the minecart being in water doesn't really stop, does it? It doesn't have a chance to stop, turn around. It's in water. It's been pushed by the water very slowly, but the water is doing its job. All right, all right. I better stop chin wagging you. Just, just, I'm just chin wagging you. It's awesome. Good little concept video, I think. I'll just see what people can come up with. Anyway, anyway, as I said, I'll leave a link in the description for a playlist uh, because there's probably more of these videos coming up, and I will be adding them to the playlist. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.